Most of you have probably seen the drama and controversy that Crunchyroll has gotten themselves into, to the whole comment section removal, with it even stemming to news articles as well, to the whole AI translation controversy that has been just bubbling for a while now, and it's just an ongoing conversation, and eventually this has bubbled to such a point to where even now Asmongold is pitching in on the situation, you know things are getting a little bit out of hand, or so to speak, it's definitely reaching more of a wider audience now, that Asmongold himself is even commenting on the subject. Now, this video that I'm doing today is a follow-up video talking about basically the subject of what Crunchyroll has done and how they have betrayed anime fans, but also what's next? What are we going to see going forward? First of all, I just want to say that Crunchyroll really put their foot in their own mouth, and I know for a fact me even mentioning these words and even making these videos about Crunchyroll I've been doing for a while definitely is going to remove any potential sponsorship that I could ever have with them out the window. It's definitely not going to happen, because obviously when you speak negatively about a company, they're not going to want to sponsor you or do brand deals, etc. But I keep it real on the channel. I say it like it is, which, you know, that's just how I've always been. I don't want to lie about things. I, I, I will talk about what I want to talk about, and that's just that. So getting into the point... Crunchyroll, their main objective where this all started was them to basically just silence bad comments, bad actors, so to speak, in the comment section, and regardless of what really it came from, if it was because of a character cross-dressing or whatever, you know, a series like that, regardless of whatever the case may be, there has been so many anime on this platform hundreds upon hundreds, thousands of anime that you could just go through that have legitimately done so many things that's, like, controversial, that there's been a lot of drama about. And the fact that Crunchyroll finally said enough is enough and disabled the comment section as of late... As I said in my first video, it was very clear that the way they did this was more or less something that they were intending to do eventually. They just needed a, a reason, so to speak. And the thing about this is just it shows the entire disconnect of Crunchyroll and how they no longer really care about the audience and the people that actually support them to be where they're at right now. And let's get into that. Crunchyroll as a site started off as legitimately a pirate site. It is was a pirate site. It was a site that literally had features that, you know, did what actual official sites couldn't do at the time, and that's what brought Crunchyroll into the mainstream audience, why it became popular, and why eventually it became a uh, actual official source for anime, why it became a legitimate website. But Crunchyroll's origins does spawn from a pirated website, typically people wanting to watch anime for free. Now, I'm not going to get on that moral high ground and talk about if it's right or not, I'm not getting into that. The point of the matter is, is that Crunchyroll, where they started at, they were a pirate site. So, a company that started Starts like that, you think would understand what makes anime watchers want to come back and what makes anime watchers want to continue using their said site. If you offer a bad service, a bad product, they're going to go different locations. And when you do this, fundamentally, it alienates a good chunk of your base. Now, I want to get into a big topic, which is one of the reasons why I brought up Asmongold. Asmongold here in this video, he talks about the whole situation. He has a lot of good, valid, and great points and stuff. And he talks about how, like, he never used the comment section, even though he is technically been a uh, Crunchyroll subscriber for many, many years. Now, obviously, this can vary from person to person, depending on how deep you are into anime culture and anime watching, etc. So I understand that varies. But I feel like the big hardcore base for anime, at least that's been into it for a very long time, definitely go out of their way to probably post comments and talk about discussion. It is something that, you know, is what drew me to even make my channel to begin with, is to make discussion on anime and manga, to just talk about these topics because I just, I want to engage in conversation with people. And so, the comments section for a site is incredibly important, I think. It's like the same can be said for people I go to Reddit to talk about episodes, or go to Twitter to talk about episodes, or YouTube and my comment section to talk about episodes. I think it's incredibly important to just have engagement around the series and people talking about it. And so Crunchyroll disabling comments is basically the exact thing to really just showcase you no longer care about your hardcore fan base anymore, people that actually want to support you. On top of that, Crunchyroll keeps raising prices and their subscription service keeps going higher and higher, and there's been controversy about that in the last year or so, and even despite all of this, the price is going on and up, they're removing features. And it's just like, you're removing features, making us have to pay for this product that's a lot higher than it used to be, it's like, why are we even around? Which explains why pirated content for anime is honestly one 
one of the most popular versions of pirating. Now, I'm, I know, I, I don't know the statistics or the math on it or whatever, but I do know in general when it comes to pirated content, anime is definitely probably one of the, the top, or the top most pirated type of content around the world. And the thing is, is that from the very beginning, the reason why anime is as popular as it is and why it has such a cult following is because a lot of people had to go out of their way to find episodes of anime to watch. I know for a fact back in 2007 and 8 and all that, the you know, the internet was still kind of young at that time. You know, I remember I had to go to YouTube, literally pull up YouTube, and I had to type in, like, let's say, Clan Ad Episode 1 Part 1 Slash 3 just to be able to watch an anime episode that was done by fan translations. I did stuff like that. I was one of those people that watched anime episodes dubbed or subbed on YouTube back in 2007 and 8. A very different time period, and it just, that's how it was. It, anime was fundamentally very different, but basically, a lot of people that watched anime going in uh, years ago, it started off as them pirating content. And today, this is still something I think that happens a lot, because with rising prices of subscription services all around the world with different services, etc., people are not going to want to pay for every little subscription service for what they want to watch. And since anime is easily one of the easiest things to pirate, yeah, obviously people are going to pirate anime. It just, it's a, it's a thing that happens. So Crunchyroll, for a very long time now, they have been the alternative to pirating. I have always stated for a very long time, for the last decade plus, I don't think Crunchyroll's perfect. They have a lot of flaws, a lot of issues. They've had, like, site crashing, which, you know, this video, which Rev talks about and Asmogul reacts to, it basically states the very points I'm saying here, is that Crunchyroll site, it's had crashes on nights where there's an acclaimed episode, let's say Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball, etc. They have had subtitle delays to where, like, an episode will literally come out, and it'll say it's English subbed, and there'll be no subtitles for a good few hours. They'll have random delays on episodes that just come out of nowhere. All sorts of little glitches and problems to subtitles getting into the whole AI translation, you know, drama that's been going on. It's just been a constant back and forth of problems throughout Crunchyroll site for a very long time. Not even getting into their web browser or the browser of like their video format of watching an episode. They used to have a lot of problems, a lot of glitchy nature, etc. So factoring all this in, Crunchyroll's always had problems. And I have definitely highlighted these problems for a very long time. But despite these problems, Crunchyroll has always technically been an easy access source for people to be able to engage with anime. Obviously, it's not offered in every country around the world, and that is one of the the big reasons why people are drawn to pirating series in general, but Crunchyroll, it was an easy access, because with their obvious monopoly at this point, to just, like, how many anime they have on their catalog, paying, like, maybe five or six dollars a month isn't necessarily too bad if you're a mega anime fan, but as they continue to have more problems and more issues continue to arise on their platform, they continue to push people away from their platform to pirated sites, and I want to be completely blunt with you. I'm not going to say that it's a good thing to pirate, but I understand why people pirate. When you continuously disable comments, you take away features, you push people away, that actually is what caused you to be popular, obviously people are going to go alternative means. It's a, uh, it's a service issue. It's a service issue. That's what it really does come down to. And Crunchyroll service has definitely been deteriorating as time goes on. There is no denying that, especially with the whole debacle with, obviously, this and AI translations. And that's not even getting into probably other things that is just slipping my mind at this moment. But, um, backing up for a, a bit and talking about, in general, about this video... The thing here is, is that Asmongold brings up the comment section, and I think this is an important thing he says. He's like, he didn't even use the comment section, he's a typical person that just watches the episode, and I think that is completely fine. It's completely fair that a lot of people might not even care about the comment section, or might not even know it existed, and I have commented on the YouTube comment section quite a bit, or not YouTube, but the Crunchyroll comment section a little bit over the years, not like as often, like, as probably a lot of people, but the thing about it is, there's communities that have been formed on these series, like, you know, you go in, let's say you went to a Dragon Ball episode, I'm pulling this up, I'm gonna pause it, obviously, because I don't want to get copyrighted, but, like, you pull up a Dragon Ball episode, obviously can't see the comment section anymore, but imagine the night this released, okay, and, like, everybody was talking about it, either on Twitter, Reddit, etc., there was definitely comments loaded all underneath this, discussing this important event, or this crazy episode for Dragon Ball, the final episode of Super, and it's like, it was a cultural phenomenon, phenomenon, and a lot of people probably met friends on this site in the comment section that they talked to often, like when they went to, let's say, a new anime series and they were watching, let's say, the new stuff from the season, they might have saw people they recognized in the comment section and they just mentioned and talked with them, and maybe that's the only time they've ever interacted with them. A lot of people potentially lost their friends when Crunchyroll decided to shut down the comment section, which is 
pretty sad when you factor all that in. It's really sad that Crunchyroll just did not consider anything in this regard. Now, the, the point and why this happened in the first place, which is brought up very early on in this video from Asmongold himself and also Rev, it's because they don't obviously want to pay for moderation. They don't want to pay for, like, uh, you know, people to moderate the comment section or anything. It's just easier to shut it all down, and they save money. It's very smart. Business-wise, if you're a company wanting to save money and basically be able to cut cost, it's definitely smart. You cut out moderation because why do you need moderation if there's nothing to moderate? So factoring that in, yeah, ma it makes perfect sense why a company do it. Is it a good thing? No, but uh, it is smart. Now, the fact that uh, they disabled even comments on news articles, etc., I think is legitimately bad because it basically means even if they get something wrong, there's nobody that can really call them out on it unless it's on a different social media platform, which obviously is going to happen regardless, but it's just like, it's not a good idea that they completely shut down any form of conversation. It's basically saying, we don't want to hear your voice. We don't want to hear your opinion. We don't want to hear what you have to say. We want to completely shut you out because we don't care what you say. Just give us money. That, that's basically what they have done. Now, one other thing I want to tack on here, though, before I kind of start to slowly wrap up this video, Asmongold talks about, like, uh, anime fans and how we are, and I think that he honestly perfectly summarizes how we truly are. I'm just, I'm gonna let this play, and I, then I'll talk about it. Getting so stupid nowadays. You're expecting too much out of the general public? I did, listen, if you're an anime watcher on the internet, and you're commenting in a comment section about an anime... You are not a normal person, okay? Let's be fucking honest. It's just sad. Uh, he, he's not wrong. I honestly, as an anime watcher, as someone that comments in comment sections, etc., he's not wrong. And I think that his comment is, like, he's saying there's a lot of dedication to anime fans as well. Anime fans that go out of their way to comment on stuff, etc., know their stuff, they know things, and they're not the average individual, so to speak. So the fact that they do that, it's just like... Once again, th th those are the hardcore fans that Crunchyroll has alienated as well. But I'm going to leave it at that. I wanted to talk about this. It's just this conversation has obviously gotten a lot more noticed thanks to Asmongold's involvement at this point. I think it's a good thing overall. I think that he makes a lot of solid points, and Rev does as well. I highly recommend you to check out their videos as well. I'll link them in the description. But um, I'm just going to say, though, I'm glad to see more conversation around these problems that these companies have been doing because obviously it's going to make a better space eventually. If they continuously to get called out, they won't be able to get away with stuff like this. But yeah, anyways, you all have a fantastic day or night wherever you live. Be safe, stay healthy, Chibi out.